Everybody loves the Colorado blue. It's a beautiful tree, it does not belong here. Out west, so you bring it here, it doesn't like the soil. After about 15, 20 years, it, it can get uncomfortable in that soil. And anything can make it uncomfortable. A drought, too much rain can make it uncomfortable. Now, Cytospora canker sets in. The canker generally, that we see around here, generally affects blue spruce. Um, and it's gonna affect the lower branches first. Um, sometimes you can notice the canker on lower branches where needles start to turn brown. And then often associated with that is like the running of a, of a whitish colored sap. And what that disease wants to do, it clogs that vascular system. It's not letting any nutrients go up. Nothing coming up, nothing coming down. The tree's gonna die. So the best thing you can do with, any, with anything um, fungal is removing infected material. So whether it be needles that are dropping or cones that are dropping, um, cutting it yourself and removing it from the site. If you have to prune dead branches out, you sterile prune, you take your pruners, you spray it with Lysol, you make your cut, do it again, make your cut. Because if you don't, you cut a branch that has the canker in it, you can take it to a branch that didn't. Now you put it over here. Because anything that's fungal, the spores can remain on the site and the fungal spores uh, spread often through, you know, getting splashed by rain or, or um, most commonly by wind. So that's how it can stay persistent in an area uh, affecting something. So any type of the cytospora canker, anything like that, that we commonly see on blue spruce, we'd spray with a fungicide.